Hi friends, it's Mari. I'm back again today with another project for Honeybee Stamps. Today I'm going to be using the most beautiful winter anemone stamp set and the coordinating dies. I absolutely love this set. It's one of my very most favorite florals in the Honeybee collection. I'm also going to be using the Ranger watercolor paper there that you see and I'm just going to be creating a really soft watercolor effect using that beautiful stamp set. Now I am taking my anti-static powder tool, the little pouch. I am going to treat that watercolor paper with that uh, anti-static powder because I do want to do some heat embossing on that watercolor paper. So I have the paper in my mini misty. I'm going to ink up some of the stamps uh, with some sticky embossing ink and I'm going to just stamp that out onto that watercolor paper. I'm taking some Brutus Monroe gilded gold metallic just beautiful embossing powder. This is a really fine embossing powder and it just does such a beautiful job of embossing and so you'll just see me getting that onto that inked up image of the winter anemone florals. And then I am going to just take that to my heat tool and melt that embossing powder. Here you can just see I'm melting that away and what a, just a beautiful image that creates. And then that raised edge of that embossing creates this really cool, almost like a well on your paper for the water to stay contained in. And then you can just add your pigment. It's a really, really simple and easy way to add watercolor or any type of pigment to an image. So there you can see I've got a bunch of images stamped out and embossed. I'm gathering up some paper towel, my spritzer, my water spritzer, some paint brushes. I wasn't really sure what brush I was going to need. So I just grabbed a bunch and then I got some of the, um, I also got some water. <laughs> just showing you I have a little container of water on my desk and I'm also using uh, the three most uh, recent releases of Distress Oxide ink. I've got some speckled egg, the crackling campfire and then the new, um, I always forget the name of that one, it's called Rustic Wilderness. I don't know why I forget that but it's that beautiful new rich green. And here you can just see that I'm working on my Tim Holtz glass mat. I'm just going to stamp out each of those different pigments, those colors over to the right. And now I'm taking a number six silver watercolor brush and I'm going to just start to add some water to the little areas of my florals. Now, this is a wet on wet technique. So what that means is that I've put water on the paper where I'm going to be working and I just used my brush to drop that water in the different areas and my paintbrush is wet so that's the wet on wet and now you can just see I go into the pigment the ink that I've stamped out onto my mat and I'm just grabbing some of that pigment on my brush and when I feel like I have too much pigment I just go to my paper towel and or I rinse and take some of the water off. You can use the paper towel to dab off your extra moisture if you want less water on your brush. And it's just nice to have paper towel ready as well in case you wanna take the paper towel to the paper and dab up some of the excess moisture. And you can just see that I'm going in and adding a little bit of darker pigment. I can totally take the pigment and water out of my brush and pick up water or pigment off of the paper where I feel like it's getting too wet or too dark. So you can just see, this is a really fun and relaxing technique. And you know what? This is actually what I would refer to as a de-stressor. If you're just having one of those days and you know what, sometimes in the world we're living in right now, there's a few of those. I just find I like to come into my craft space and I like to grab some of my favorite products like this winter anemone stamp set and I just like to just sit and, and just do this watercoloring technique. It's so relaxing, it's so forgiving and it's so fun. So now you can just see I'm going in with that speckled egg and I'm not going to show you each and every section that I've done because it's just repetitive but I just wanted to kind of give you an idea of how I did this technique and it's super easy and like I said it's just so relaxing. Now I'm going in to uh, the leaves with the rustic wilderness and I remembered the name yay and I am also going to um just use that same technique on the little leaf areas. I want this to be really, really super soft. Um, I tend to go a little bit softer with my coloring, whatever medium I'm using. And I just really like this really soft look. 
I think it's just really pretty. Now I am going to use the coordinating dies that are sold separately. They coordinate beautifully with this winter anemone stamp set. I'm going to just use some purple tape to go ahead and stick those down and I will take that over to my Gemini Junior. I'm just making sure I have these lined up really well. I'm just painstakingly taking the time to make sure that I have these in just the right spot and uh, I'm just going to take that purple tape then tape that down and take it to my Gemini. Now I have my splat box out on my table. I'm going to splatter some uh, gloss spray from Dina Wakely in white. If you don't have this product that's fine you can use whatever you have some white acrylic paint any kind of white mist that you might have if you want to add splatters. I just felt like because this is kind of so it sort of supposed to have like a frosty look to it. It's not really a typical winter themed card necessarily just because of the colors I chose but I just thought those splatters of white would sort of make it look a little bit more wintry. Now I've taken a bunch of the dies from my stash and this beautiful holiday cheer paper pad and I've cut out some papers for my A2 size card. I've used my A2 double stitch frames and I've also used my scallop A2 frames to create a couple of rectangles for my card. I love these dies. If you don't have these, they are a must have, I feel, in your stash. Just some really, really great basic dies. I'm also using my um, ovals, my double stitched ovals as well. And I will leave all of these things linked up in the description box below. Now I used some of the Craft Perfect Mint blush paper in a really nice neutral but look at all of these beautiful papers in this paper pad they're just gorgeous and great for layering pieces for a card so I took this one that's just got sort of like this really beautiful pattern and I'm going to use this gray cardstock as my base it's just an A2 size card base I've got it all folded here and ready to go I wanted once again I wanted something neutral so I'm going to take that first rectangle and get that stuck down. Again, this is from the Holiday Cheer paper pad. It's just a really nice neutral plaid. So I'm gonna put that down as my first layer on my card base. Get that stuck down with my tape runner. Just using my grid lines on my mat to um, just make sure I have that all lined up really well. Now I'm going to take the this kind of a teal piece and I'm going to actually add some foam adhesive to the back of that and get that stuck down in a layer as well on top of that plaid paper. So you'll just see me here adding my foam adhesive in strips on the back of that paper. So now I'm just going to go ahead and take that and add it onto that plaid paper. And I just like how that foam adhesive gives that next layer a little bit of dimension. Now I'm going to take that beautiful Craft Perfect paper that's just got that beautiful embossing on it I'm going to add that onto the center of my teal paper with my my tape liner and now you can just see that I'm going to add my beautiful die cut pieces to my card and I'm going to do that with some foam adhesive as well just some little foam dots to give that some pop and dimension as well on my card and I'm just going to add them sort of opposite each other almost on a little an angle to each other like that and just leave kind of like a little space there for my sentiment. So you can just see I'm just going to loosely place these for now just so that I can get an idea of my composition for my card where I want my my elements to be. And here I'm just showing you I've die cut out these pieces the word thanks from the Slimline Sentiments Eyelet die set. This is the thanks die I'm just showing you there. I love it. It's so intricate and beautiful and I cut it twice once from metallic gold cardstock and once from black and I'm going to layer those on top of each other and that like I said will be the sentiment for my card today. So I'm just using my Honey Bee glue tube which I absolutely love and highly recommend and I'm going to to go ahead and layer those together and then I'm going to glue that onto my card and to finish my card off I want to add a few of the farm fresh holiday gems and so you're going to see me once I get this all placed and where I want it to go you'll see me grab my gems and I'm going to place my gems onto my card as well just using my craft pick and I absolutely love how this turned out now if you wanted this you could even actually make this into a holiday card if you wanted by 
adjusting and changing the uh, colors that you use of uh, ink or whatever pigment you're using or uh, also the papers that you're using etc this can easily be adjusted into a holiday theme card by using different papers and so on and so forth and a different color scheme I did need a thank you card and so I did want to make a thank you card and that is why I chose the sentiment and the colors I did not want to be necessarily specifically for holiday this time but you could definitely adapt this easily into a holiday card. I love how this turned out so much guys. I hope you're inspired to create something with your winter anemone stamp set if you have it in your stash. It's just one of my favorites. It's an all-time honeybee classic. It's so gorgeous and if you don't have it certainly head over to the shop and pick up your um, winter anemone stamp set. I will like I said leave everything all linked up in the description box below. Thank you so much everyone for stopping by today. Have an amazing day and my wish for you is to stay absolutely safe and healthy and do something fun in your craft space and just de-stress and enjoy the day. Bye friends. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.